This is Robert Monroe, and here's another tape track recording from our Explorer Pathfinder file. In this case, our Explorer's identification is simply S-H-E, and she has provided one of the most interesting and profound explorations that we've encountered. Thus, we again believe that we should pick up at the breakthrough point so that you can follow the events much as they actually took place. She has had enough experience in Focus 12 to be totally comfortable in that state of consciousness. As we begin, bear in mind that the recording is not intended to be of high quality, but simply for file purposes. However, I am sure it will bring more questions than answers. Here is she reporting from 12. point of light. Other than that, I don't perceive anything. How does the light feel? It looks like a star. I don't... When I focus on it, I begin to float. Experiment with the light. Experiment with it. And we... Now they're getting cl closer. Now I'm getting closer to them. To get the two answers that there's some disharmony and there's, I'm not very relaxed. I feel relaxed. Answers spin out. I don't understand it. After about three minutes, then the following took place. How are you? I'm very glad to meet you. I'm very thankful that you came. It is hard to get here. What is the difficulty? There are many layers to penetrate. We are very, very grateful that you did penetrate the layers to us. We will help you in any way that we can. The color pattern is very good. We must find a way to help her let go. Do you have any recommendations? There needs to be a period in which she goes very deep. Possibly. It will get easier as the trust builds. There's still a lot of fear. I am very grateful for your concern for her. Now she is feeling a lot of disharmony. I've taken her to a place where she can rest. What would you recommend that we do in regard to her physical condition? She must work on it herself. It is important for her to stop doing things that are harmful to her leg. Uh, but such would be harmful. What could we list as being harmful? It is important for her to begin the process of 
of going away from cigarettes. They cause the, the difficulties in her leg. How can we help her achieve this? When I have taken her to rest, she will be given some words to meditate upon. She has not done the meditation I ask her to do. But does she remember the meditation that you did ask her? I was just checking that myself. I'm not sure. And perhaps, uh, if you wish, we can transmit it to her at the fully conscious level. If you would give us the instructions, if you so desire. We will then transmit it to her consciously. It must come from within. She will remember it. Very good. I'm glad that she will have this to use and work with. Could we learn about you? Could you tell us about you? I am working right now on a level in which I have to help people begin to focus in another direction. I am part... I am part of Liana. And we have been together. Now it is my job to help her come to that realization. At what level uh, do you work from now? I am working now on level 46. There are many forces there that are helping at this point the people on your earth there are many forces there that are working with you and you have the guidance can you describe level 46 for us to put into your words. It is a state of being, though, is that correct? Yes, it is primarily it's a state of pure energy. Where were you prior to level 46? I have been in many places. Time does not exist for me. Did you at one time exist in this physical earth level? At one time I was a part of Liana. Was that in physical matter existence here? Yes. Was that in a civilization or culture that we are unaware of in our physical life here? 
I have gone through all of your times. We were together. We were very close in Liberia. Then we were separated. It is only when I arrived at level 46 and was told that I needed to gather back together the parts of myself that had been separated that I began to reach back and establish contact again. I have been in contact all day. My messages have not come through very clearly, but there has been an awareness of my presence. What can we do to help you? You are helping me now. What can I do to help you? Help us understand level 46 and the other levels that, uh, that exist between this physical matter existence and level 46. How can we learn these things? You are aware of many of these levels. Level 46 is a place of pure energy. We have no identity. And yet we have all identities. A level then of multiple identities that are not as we can understand as a single conscious self. Is that right? I'm sorry, I was distracted. I had to check with Liana. Would you say that again? Is Liana all right? Is she, is she comfortable? Is Liana comfortable? There are some distractions. Do inform me if you feel that she should return. I will. We do need your help. You can help us greatly by visiting us just as you do now. And help us understand more accurately such levels of pure energy and those in between. I will try. All of us here will be deeply, deeply grateful. At what level, for example, when one passes from this physical matter existence, uh, what is the next level that one moves to? It would depend on what one is ready for. Normally, you would move to level 22. Can you describe level 22 for us? It is a time in which the The purposes for which you have lived are brought out and which you decide where you will go from there. It is a time to begin anew.
then level 22 is not necessarily one of pure energy, such as 46. There is a closer tie between 22 and your plane. It is not a, a place of pure energy. It is a place of light. What choice is, or what election may one have from level 22. You indicated that there is a choice. What choices are available to an entity at that stage, at that level 22? You would have before you a spectrum of choices as varied as that of the rays of the sun. Is one such choice to return again to physical matter existence in this earth level? If that is your wish. There are some beings who have to do that. What is the factor that would force a being to do this? If there is a mission that he has had that he has not accomplished, he must return. Is that his own decision that the mission was not accomplished, or is that decision made for him? That is all one and the same. There is a knowing. perspective is it possible for you to perceive the missions of those of us here The answer to your question is yes. I can help you with that at another time. Thank you so much. Uh, is there any means by which we can identify you? Can we give you a name, a number, so that we know that we can use some point of identification before you go? The energy that can best describe me is Miranon. Miranon. Very good. This is much what we need, the means to call for you. Do you feel that Leona needs to return now? Mm-hmm. Very good. Thank you so much, Aaron. And we will talk with you again and have another communication. Good day. Good night, and bring Leona back to us. That was our first meeting with Miranon. And needless to say, we were past the point of surprise by that time. Also, we were very eagerly awaiting the session next week with SHE to continue. And here's what took place. Oh, 
for Beacon Light. This seems to go into a, a very deep spiral. feels familiar. I feel attracted to it. seems to move. Right now it's far away. It's been closer. I can find patches of color. I can't seem to find the pattern. It is good to be here. We have been so eager to make it to the It has been difficult to make contact. She is blocking me now. I don't know why. Shall we let her come back and ask her why and let him return after that? Or can we do this? Perhaps it is important for her to know one experience from my previous life so that she can begin to understand. Very well. When she lived with me in Lavoria, she developed very strong talents. She could think of a person and they would do whatever it was she wanted them to do or they would be however she wanted them to be. She used this with a small child. The child was ill and she willed the child to be well. The child became well, and she shared with the child what she had done. Then the child used her thoughts to bring great harm upon Liana. At that point, a separation occurred 
between Liana and me because Liana then willed harm upon that child and the child died. She must remember that all thoughts that she has with other people must be for their good. And that I mean only good for her. That is very significant. Can you tell us something about the history of the Maria, where it was located on the earth, and about when? In your time span, Lemuria existed about 12,000 years ago. It was located on your earth. The people were very advanced and they were very peaceful. They lived to themselves. In small groups connected by telecommunication because the people were peaceful they were in danger from many of the forces on your earth The civilization died out because it could not evolve along with the evolution that was going on at that time on your earth. The spirits of the people of Lemuria traveled on to Venus. and established a colony there. Not as you would define it. They were advanced enough not to need a physical body as you need a physical body. Sorry to interrupt, but it will be continued on the other side of the cassette. Just flip the cassette over now.
the trainings and disciplines, so I'm not sure the the people we in Lemuria developed our thoughts. We developed the ability to to communicate with one another through our thoughts. We developed the ability to love, to love so that we were at one with everyone. There was no fear within our civilization. But we were not able to exist on the planet Earth. Did you originally come from the planet Earth or did you come from some other environment? So planet Earth, as you know it, has gone through many evolutions. I was on Earth for many lifetimes, but not always in a physical body as you now have a physical body. The Earth has gone through four evolutions. And it will go through three more evolutions. Could you describe the evolutions that we have gone through and the ones we will go through? I can't describe those to you. I would like to check on the Yana first. Very good. She is disoriented. I think she is in need of returning. Very good, thank you. Uh, will you then return her for us? Yes. I would like to talk with you some more on this. I would be very deeply grateful if you would. Then you bring her back to us now. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Debrief. Debrief. I'm fine. Good. Just talk. I'll give you a little bit of light. You just tell me your reactions and your impressions now, all right? Okay. Hmm. Help. At first, I didn't really think there would be any contact. I just sort of felt... Oh, I didn't feel like I was making any contact, so... The light with the vortex was very attractive. And I see that that's also a pattern. That may be as much a pattern as the colors. And then when I was saying the name over and over, I just became aware of a feeling that I was separating from my body. And yet when he said, I heard him say good evening and it was like very clear and it was like me as much as it was him and yet I wasn't there. And uh, then I went into 
kind of like the uh, cocoon that I've experienced once before. And was quietly there, sort of listening and not listening to what he was saying. But when he started talking about the child, I started crying. Yes. And I was wanting to to have him go away. And And yet I, I didn't seem to be able to, to succeed in that, which was probably what well, was as it was supposed to be. So I just <clears throat> laid back in the cocoon and just laid there. And then I started whirling. It was like the cocoon turned into a, a big vortex. I see, great. And I felt like I was getting sick to my stomach. And that was when I felt able to come back. And I did. And the, I was totally disoriented at first when the light came on. I don't know, I, I didn't really have any special relationship to the room. I see. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. This last debriefing phase should begin to give you a better idea of SHE's normal personality, although she was still in a deeply relaxed state. The ripping noise at the end came as she removed the bands holding electrodes to her head and hands. It is interesting to note the concern Miranon has for the well-being of our explorer. This gradually gave us a greater sense of confidence, to say the least. It was a learning experience for all of us. To illustrate, here are portions of the following session. particularly in the palms of my hands. I sort of feel like I'm suspended. I feel like a balloon that's just being blown up and up and up. And there's a very pretty purple space above me. It's very dark. I'm just floating. the light in front of me that keeps expanding. I'm going to go towards that. Here. Like I'm dividing.
Yes. I feel like I've just eaten a cold thing of ice cream. I can perceive a, a pulsing like the colors, but I can't visualize the colors. Good afternoon. We have much to talk about. I have been watching. And I feel that there needs to be some definition of where I come from. Liana is unsure. I have told you earlier that I come from level 46. and that in the physical world there are 21 levels. You have the plants in the first seven levels. Seven is the number of the universe. And you have the animals in the next seven levels. And you, as you are incarnated now, are operating in the next seven levels. After you leave normal consciousness, you can penetrate into other levels. For me to speak, I have to bring Liana into the next level, and I have to cross into that level also. but I can feel that it is a strain for her body. I bring her only good. And in the level that I am operating on, I am working with ways to heal not only in the first 21 levels, but in the levels in which others are in beyond your physical consciousness. I said to you earlier that there were seven evolutions the earth would go through. Do you remember that? Yes. The earth is now in its fourth evolution. And I know that Liana has been wondering where I come from. I spring 
from the light that was there at the beginning of of consciousness. It is hard to find words. But I guide through the evolution that your world is in now. Because it is in the fourth evolution, I work through and with the Christ Spirit. He is the master of the fourth evolution. When the world enters the fifth evolution, there will be newer and greater teachings, but not until then. It is beginning now. It is an evolution in which all beings will begin to radiate light. Light that they can perceive and light that can be perceived in the cosmos. The signs are a restructuring of life as you know it on the earth. Man will begin to study himself. He will begin to recognize his potential within himself. Up until now, man has been concerned with development outside himself. But that will change. There will be a greater awareness, not just of individuals, but of groups. And these groups will initiate changes. You are part of that group. You are bringing expanded awareness I am an energy fog. Fog. I need to come down. Debrief. Debrief. How do you feel? Tired. Pulled, but all right.
Okay. Can I take this head thing off first? Sure, go ahead. Okay. No, it's all right. I don't need the light. There were points. When the f contact first started, I really wasn't sure what was happening. And then I, I really felt the contact. I just went off. I didn't know exactly what was happening at all. But then, the last part of it, wherever I was, I started feeling really uncomfortable and I wanted to come back. And I couldn't seem, it was like I couldn't get anybody to pay attention to me. <laughs> yeah, I I wasn't comfortable any longer and I didn't have any sense that you know, before I've always sensed that he was very aware of where I was or whatever. But this time I didn't at all. So it was kind of nice to know that that I could impinge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, now I, I sort of heard the last sentence of what he was going to say or something. It had something to do with, with energy and, and, and reaching for level 46. I don't know what you'd ask him. I'd forgotten what it was. But that was whatever he was going to say when I just interrupted and, and cut in. Yeah, I really felt that pulsing, and then suddenly the, the colors were there, and I just, I went out somewhere. I didn't have any perception of the space at all, and I was very comfortable there until I was ready to, yeah, and then I was ready. <laughs> Anything unusual in the gauges? Yeah, I'll tell you about it. A very important detail took place here, which raised greatly the confidence factor for both our explorer and us. She discovered that she could return whenever she so desired. No total takeover, no dominance was involved. So here then is the next session, which is basically a continuation. I feel closer to being able to to experience a gradual separation Uh-huh. And then I was trying to be aware of pulling all of my energy from my feet up to my head and out the top of my head. But I didn't have any perceptions at all. It was very hard. Glad you're here. Right now, her physical body is not in very good health. I hesitated to come. And I was not aware the last time of her needs to to be back. It would be interesting for you to 
to measure her change in heartbeat and in breathing when I am here, it does change. You have a very good device for measuring heartbeat. I am not sure on measuring breathing what you have. We have strain gauges we can use. Strain gauges. Liana has little knowledge for me to communicate with. There is There is change in her body temperature. Does your instrument measure that? We do have one that can do that, yes. When I was with you last week, you asked if I could speak through other people. Yes. I can do this. You are very wise to have Liana only think on the colors. They must pulsate. It's not always easy to enter and speak. I may speak in other ways. With Liana, sometimes I speak through pictures or through communication that she hears, but she is not as receptive to that. Perhaps one of your other people would be. We'll have to find out. It is difficult to communicate when the words are not there. I am only energy. I can only bring you what is there. I understand. That's very understandable. I can flash the colors to you. That would be fine. For you to perceive them. It is probably good if she comes back. Send you back now. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And that's the end of this Explorer tape. As you can see, meeting Miranon does pose more questions than it does answer them. See you again soon.